one very common question in the very security focused roles or uh, DevSecOps area that I have seen is the candidate being checked on the security process, etc. So the question would be whether you have performed any threat modeling in your uh, projects or not, or how did you identify certain tools to be used in the security space? So what process you followed or something around that sort of thing. So my suggestion in such cases is not to say that we have not done anything of that sort, rather say that uh, we have, I or I have performed mm -hmm. threat modeling in my uh, AWS or mm -hmm. uh, Azure or GCP environment. For, for my application, I did threat modeling uh, process. So what involves in a threat modeling process is to identify overall surface area, attack area of the, uh, the application. And from attack area means it's a very generic uh, sort of term. So you don't have to, you know, uh, get overburdened by the terms and all. Just, you know, try to bring some analogy in the conversation if possible. Just mention that uh, just like we, I have a, uh, a house where I need to ensure its security from all aspects, I will ensure, I will look at uh, all the possible areas which are exposed to the external world. I will look at, uh, like at, for a house, I will look, it has three gates from where people can enter. So I need to ensure proper locks there, um, proper gates over there. Uh, if someone occasionally comes, uh, maybe a gardener or someone, um, he needs to have access of some form. So you will grant only access to the area where he needs to work. Uh, similarly, inside the house, you will have uh, pe different people will have different rooms. So you will control their access based on what sort of permissions and what sort of uh, activities they perform. So you will ensure these kind of uh, things. This is just an, an analogy. Try to bring such examples in your uh, conversation. So now bring back to the uh, infrastructure discussion. You will mention that uh, for my application, which runs in Elastic Beanstalk environment, uh, we uh, I sat down and I identified which all places uh, my uh, AWS resources are. Uh, I have some EC2 instances. Uh, I have uh, some RDS. So I I looked at what uh, what options we have, like uh, uh, securing the uh, EC2 instances. I I decided to use three tier uh, uh, subnets, public private secure subnets. For storing my databases, I used a security group to restrict access from uh, a specific subnet. I used uh, I did not allow traffic from any other places and these kind of things. So a uh, lot of other things you can bring in based on the uh, and project that you identify. So even though we don't, in a lot of organizations, we will not call it as a threat modeling. It's, it's more of a detailed process where you will document what resources you have in your environment, what uh, your attack surface area is because of that, and what actions you are going to take. Uh, you will prioritize those actions, what actions you are planning to take based on the attack area that you have identified. And we usually do those things in our process. We usually do those activities without the process also is what I'm trying to say. So why not claim that we have followed a process as well? So you, you will, even a well-architected uh, framework is a sort of threat modeling uh, process but because we have not done it explicitly we will not claim it that we have done it i have been a victim of uh, such uh, incident where i was uh, asked this question and i said actually we have not done that and when i realized that oh, actually we have not done it directly but in, a, in the well architected process we have followed these uh, best practices to ensure that the security posture of the application is better so uh, so we did follow it, but I did not claim it. So it didn't go that well. So my suggestion, that's why I'm saying it's don't get uh, overwhelmed by the uh, by the terms and stuff around it. It's just a process. Pretty much everyone does it. So everyone should just 
focus on uh, bringing some experience, bringing in some uh, some past uh, project where you implemented this kind of thing and saying that, yes, we did a threat modeling process and identified the attack surface area, identified the action items based on that, prioritize those items uh, based on the cost and the effort required to fix it, and we did this process. And it process uh, as an outcome, a document was created. Based on that, some Jira tickets were created, and we did this process. So just claim this kind of uh, process that you have followed. Thanks for today.